Big dub kid over here now. It's good work, kid. You were going to add a lot of depth to the number one spot. You get back out there. William, over here now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You got to show me a lot more than that. You're playing like a third stringer out there. The heck is going on? That kid is embarrassing you out there. You better snap up your game real quick, son, or that kid is gonna take your spot. You understand me? You get back out there now. I don't have time for this nonsense. Let's go, guys. Let's run the scrimmage. First team, second team, match up now. Show me something, guys. You know I hate wasting my time. Get him going. All right, you heard, coach. Let's go to work, boys. We've got another Summer League game. We got to score 10 points, dish 3 assists, and take the lead going to the second quarter. Going up against the Golden State Warriors. Now, if this were 2019, I'd be extremely scared to face Curry, Durant, Draymond, Clay, all those guys. But this is 2005-2006-ish. So, yeah, they weren't that good back then as I hit him with a nice little alley-oop assist. My guy is now trying to clear out some space here. Throw another lob. Why not? Clean catch. Very nice dunk. Very nice by my guy. All right. Let's see. They're taking the ball up the court here. I really can't wait to play the regular season games as I still cannot play good defense. Playing defense, especially on older basketball games. Oh, my gosh. I just broke that man's ankles. And, oh, look at that. Just posterize that guy. We got. I had to go to a replay for this one. Look at this. Look at that. Going right up. Nuts nearly in the face. Slam dunk. Beautifully executed by my guy. But like I was saying earlier. Oh my goodness. Another nice alley-oop. Playing defense, especially on the old school basketball games, were like insanely hard. Even now in 2K19, as I hit the fadeaway green release jumper. You like, like just playing defense, I don't know why it has to be so hard. Because back then, they didn't have defensive control schemes. They did not think that far ahead. Then again, this was around 2005-2006. So, I do give them some of the benefit of the doubt. Some of the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, let's just call for a pick here. We still got to take the lead. As I hit a nice little fadeaway three. Pulling up like Curry. You can call me Chef Connor. Go all the way. Yeah. And what? What what the hell was that? I, I why why do they give me these weird layup animations that never seems to go in for my guy? Like it's just it's so I don't I don't get it. But anyway, another green release. I did get a Showtime penalty bonus for having my my guy be the same shooter, but it doesn't really matter because we walk out here with all our goals and take the lead heading to the second quarter. Let's fast forward a little bit, play a little two on two. Normally I don't show much of the practice drills, but look at who we're going up against. We got Jerome Hers, our teammate, who just crossed up Andre Wheeler. Just oh my gosh, the ankle. I just love that little animation, the little the breaking ankle animation. But look at who I'm going up against, folks. Big W. Going off the screen, hanging a nice little fadeaway jumper. Big W is tough, especially later on in the games. Oh my gosh, but I've gone with the pump fake though. I guess maybe right now it's not a Big W's day. He's falling for these easy little pump fakes. He's letting guys, you know, set easy screens on him. Oh, my God. I even hit him with a spin move and a fadeaway jumper. Big W can't guard me. Ah, damn it. Couldn't get that shot up, but that's okay. All right, Big W has a ball. Oh, give me that. Come on, Big W. You got you to gotta protect that ball. Now let's hit him with a crossover, create space, pass it to Jerome, cross up. Nice dunk, my goodness. Some of these animations, they just kind of flow pretty nicely, especially when it really works. And yeah, that's just that's that's just really nice to see. Oh my gosh, another pump fake. We're about to shut out Big W's team. It, it's about to happen in a two-on-two -two squad versus squad matchup. Another pump fake by Jerome. That's going to be game. Complete shutout. Get Big W off this team. I mean, seriously, how do you get shut out by me and Jerome Hurd in a two-on-two -two drill? Like, how? Ah, my God. Big W. You suck. Gentlemen, we have some tough decisions to make over the next couple of days. Some of us have our views on the team we want. 
However, the focus here is what is the team we need? Don't need any stars, we just need a solid squad. It's the only way we're gonna survive. Now, having said that, those 10 we agree on. It's gonna be tricky working the final five. Bill, I have a suggestion. Why don't we trade uh, Willie Brown and Ty Cook for Shane Blanton? Say what? You know, I know Shane was the first pick, but with all due respect, how does it make sense trading our best man for a rookie three man? Big Dub is one man. Plus, it makes total sense. We're weak at the three spot, and with the kid from Juco at one, Jerome at two, we can be solid if we get Shane. That leaves us with a dangerously inexperienced team, especially on the perimeter. Are you sure about the one spot? Positive. Even you said it before, Bill, as long as the heart and fundamentals are there, age doesn't matter. As far as Big Dub is concerned, he's a great player. But if it means a star player over a young, strong team, I'm all for the young, strong team. The kid is dominating the team, showing up, Brown. Bill, they follow his lead. Willie only shows up to play for himself. He's done, at least on this squad. You test it. Run a scrimmage. Let the kid and Big W run it head to head. I know it's harsh, but it's business. Hey, this organization is in trouble. And some folks are ready to hit the panic button. I hate to say it, Coach, but I think he's right. As much as I want Big W to stay, the smart thing to do would be to get Shane. Getting a strong three like Shane would create a strong balance. Couldn't hurt. Everybody else agree to this? I agree, coach. Real quick, guys. We're gonna split it up this time. You and Big Dub change sides. Dub, I want you to run the second team. Second team? <laughs> you playing, right? You heard me, William. No, no, I don't think I did hear you, coach. You heard me, William. Get out there, run the second team. This ain't Juco, bro. All right, play smart and remember, be the floor general. Pass the ball and get everyone else involved. Don't forget, I want to see you score too, so show me at least three buckets of your own. Use your head. All right, well, this is it. We got to win the game, shoot at least 50% with my point guard, score 12 points for the team, and be Big W squad here in the scrimmage with four minutes left to go. We are down by three. Big W running the second team. He was not happy about that. Look at Big Boy Jones getting big with that, dunk, with that little dunk there. I love that little hop step pro animation, and... I found it to be kind of a glitch, as you'll see later on in this series throughout this video, but and throughout other videos too. As Big W is, he's hitting a nice jumper there. Come on, guys, we gotta get our hands up, hands up like in that movie with Martin Lawrence. I forget the name of it, but he put icy hot under the player's armpits. Yeah, it was called rebound, and yeah, it was like it's simple though. You gotta keep your hands up on defense and not let guys like Big W get all those open jumpers or and even let people drive to the paint like seriously uh, the, the, just playing defense on this game it's making me not even have a complete rhetorical thought so I do a nice little lob there but still it's just like I you know just playing defense I can't even speak as as I'm turning the ball over <clears throat> oh, it's just so stupid don't mind me too I just like to pause and Obviously look at my goals because obviously I do forget my goals as that is just horrendous defense. My god I, Yeah, like I'm right there trying to block the shot, but for some reason it just doesn't matter Strom Hurd hits the call on a three as I get a nice little assist there But still it's just like, you know, sometimes especially with uh, they, I don't think they had like a checklist uh, for goals like you had to keep pausing the game and that, yeah, that that's that's just a bad transition three by my guy. That's that was dumb of me. But 
Still, it's just like, as again, Big W, okay, he misses that, but their guy gets a rebound, tipped out by one of my defenders. Come on, Jerome, go all the way. Oh, I'm trying to find my guy in the corner. Oh, there it is. Pull the trigger. How do you come up short like that? And again, I do have to pause the game constantly to look at my goals because, yeah, that's just, you can't really see your goals. There's no, like, mini little thing where you can pull up your checklist. It's kind of annoying, especially since we're down by, well, now we're down by four. It's drum hit, hurt, hits another call on a three. That's another little glitch there. Sometimes you just got to find the glitches, especially when things get way too tough in this game. Like, seriously, it's just constant. Especially all the glitches and everything. Okay, their guy missed that rebound. Now, let's go. Come on, my guy. Take it all the way. Nice reverse dunk in transition. Down by two. We need a defensive stop. Come on, get on, Big W. Pause. Okay, just... No, steal it. D okay, just stay with him. All right, passing back to Big W. No, no, no. Stupid Big W making those clutch shots. Oh, that's not what we needed. All right, just pass it to Jerome. No, they're okay. Yeah, just pull up. There we go. Oh, but we're down by one, though. And every time you intentionally foul, we're not in the bonus either. Like, we literally got to try and, I guess, steal the ball here. Right? I remember that from the last time I did it. I just You can't intentionally foul. Otherwise, you're basically, yeah, they're not in the bonus. And, oh, we're not going to have enough time. Full court Hail Mary. For the win, for the chance to get onto the New Jersey Nets and possibly have Big W traded. Ugh. Like all my other goals, I do, of course, have to try this once again. But I did it very successfully this time. It was not even close. Oh, my God. Big W nearly just made that. That would have been crazy. Oh, my goodness. Sally, get me a new set of specs. And while you're at it, roll in a defibrillator because I do not believe what I am reading right here. Folks, I hope you're sitting down because Big W, last year's first overall draft pick and rookie of the year, and veteran two-man Ty Cook have been traded for this year's number one pick, Shane Blanton. Oh, my goodness. Now, all eyes are on the kid from the Hoosier State, Indiana. But I do know that this young team needs a leader. And why not the Midwest All-American? But the question is, can he do it? Can he lead this team? Or will his wings get clipped? All right, so now we are in another little Showtime drill with myself and Shane Blanton at the helm. Shooting for ball and getting that. Yeah, I remember Shane Blanton being a beast on this game. I, I don't remember all the specifics about it, but yeah, Shane Blanton was very nice in this game as he said how do you miss that layup are you kidding me dude all right plan just go to the hole try and get him with move oh oh my god okay yeah this guy's a beast we don't need to see anything else all right so guys i do actually have to apologize for this part because well there was a cutscene going on and for some reason the game capture hd did not record my uh or, or just blah, 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 i can't talk or did not record the game's audio so yeah in this cutscene, the main player tries to call his dad and obviously his dad cannot make it to the game because he has another trip and obviously the kid is very upset so he gets another call from his agent just re-emphasizing the whole idea of showtime basketball fundamentals yada 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 so, yeah, the kid's really upset about that, and Shane Blanton is a nervous wreck because this is his first professional basketball game, so obviously I would be nervous too, especially as a rookie, but Shane Blanton, basically, he has this little message from his girl on his shoe, and in this little cutscene, the kid is basically saying, listen, I run the show here, and Shane Blanton's like, well, is that a threat, basically? And the kid's like, you can take it however you want, but um, yeah, it's it's just how it is. You know, just remember, I'm the point guard. I run the show. I am living out the dream that I want to do in real life as a child, and that was to be the point guard of the New Jersey Nets, but obviously they moved down to New Jersey and went to Brooklyn, and well, I've had one too many cheeseburgers in my life to have the full body shape of an NBA player, so... 
Yeah, that's uh, that's on me. I I really gotta start eating healthy. Like that's yeah. I I I'm starting to kind of do that. Like I I'm really I'm trying, guys. I'm trying, but sometimes with work and everything, I get really really hungry and. Yeah, it's it's just it's not good. But right now, our first game is up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, and oh god, that was definitely not a good start. Not a good freaking start at all. As my guy tries to do the alley oop, but it does not work, and that's just really bad. And KG is just scoring the big ticket in Minnesota. Basically, the only reason that Minnesota fans even bought tickets to go to a Timberwolves game. Like, they wouldn't just do it willingly. They had to get that star player. So, let's see if I can try this again. There we go. At least Jerome Hurd catches it to perfection. Now, oh my gosh, breaking ankles. Oh, they got to foul me. If I would have post rides that guy, that would have been amazing. But I get to the free throw line, to the cherry stripe, hit the two shots to perfection. Now, we're going to fast forward ahead a little bit into the third quarter where... I have some different goals, but we are up by so much that, yeah, it's just, oh, God, that was a bad alley -oop throw. It's just kind of not really worth it to go through, oh, like, the entire thing, especially with the gameplay, with uh, myself being, oh, my God, Wheeler, how do you miss that layup? With my guy, you know, kind of dominating. It's like, I feel like after you accomplish all your goals, it's like you can kind of just, like, fool around a little bit and score more points if you want to. I mean, obviously, you still want to win the game, but... There are parts in this game where it does feel easy and you feel like you're really in control. And, oh, I, again, I really got to work on my timing with these alley-oops, you know, because it's a little different than that drill with uh, the guy that looked like uh, very old-school hot sauce from the AM1 mixtapes and that little playground drill. So, a little bit of miscommunication, but it is the New Jersey Nets' uh, very first game in the as a team as a young core and yeah okay we're gonna win this game but obviously we have a lot of work to do folks especially without big w on our team